This has become my main weapon combo and maybe even my main build inside of PvE. And however you may feel about Season of the Chosen, narratively or, or in its content, I'll say one area that Bungie has really elevated their game is just in the loot. The loot, man, is so much better. One of the funnest weapon combos is very similar to Mountaintop Recluse. Like back in the day, Mountaintop Recluse inside of PvE was disgusting. Get a kill with Mountaintop, proceed to prop Master of Arms, then go to Pound Town with Recluse, it was very simple. What if I told you though, this season, you can run essentially the exact same combo. So to start with the weapons of choice, we have Salvager Salva. This is the pursuit weapon for this season. It has so many good things about it. It is present in the energy slot, which I did see some people upset about, but I'm okay with it due to the fact that it can roll with the trait chain reaction. Each final blow with this weapon creates an elemental damage explosion. Now you can combine this with two different traits, either Demolitionist, where kills will actually generate you more grenade energy. Really, really good if you're rocking a grenade based build, which is kind of what we're doing here. Or of course, Ambitious Assassin, which allows your magazine to overflow based on the number of rapid kills before reloading. Really nice if you're wanting to load up on grenade launcher shots to shoot all at once. And of course, you can merge this with Vorpal, which increases damage against bosses, guardians, and their supers. I have every intention of reviewing Salvador more inside of PvP, as well as just individually reviewing it. But I just had to get this build video out because it's been working so amazingly for me. Like, don't get me wrong. Mountaintop was really good inside of PvE. A lot of people liked it. Micro Missile, despite it breaking PvP, it was a great trait for PvE. But I gotta say, guys, even Mountaintop at its height, I would take Salvager over it. These chain reaction kills are disgusting. This is loaded question, but even better. Which takes us to the kinetic weapon we're rocking with it. This is actually my God Rolled Extraordinary Rendition. We actually landed this roll on the very first day. A pendant mag for that bump there in magazine size. Overflow, which allows us to essentially double the size of our magazine when we pick up special or heavy ammo. Yes, it does proc with things like special finisher. And the final trait there is Frenzy. Being in combat for an extended time increases damage, handling, as well as reload speed for this weapon until you are out of combat. Now, it actually wants you to be in combat for roughly 10 to 12 seconds. Now, I've seen some people actually say that this perk is similar to Master of Arms, and I understand that, but to me, it's even better. Because upon staying in combat for that small duration, whether the gun is in your hand or stowed, Frenzy will activate, thus allowing you to just walk around flat foot it with a 20% buff there in your damage. And considering I have overflow on this SMG, I'm running around rocking 50 plus rounds in my magazine. On top of that, Frenzy boosting not just the damage, but the reload speed makes it feel like you have Outlaw or Feeding Frenzy on you at all times. Whether you're getting a kill or not, that reload speed is stupid fast. Frenzy is actually one of the best perks in the game. And don't get me wrong, I like Vorpal. Vorpal increases damage against champions as well as bosses and mini bosses and such. It's a nice trait, but to me, Frenzy is even better because it applies that buff to anything and everything. Now, the heavy weapon we're taking advantage of is, of course, Anarchy. I know, rocket launchers got a buff, and there are some amazing rocket launchers out there. And honestly, you can swap to whatever. But the reason why I'm taking advantage of Anarchy is primarily because of the same reason I'm taking advantage of Salvager Salvo. I am rocking backers here on Hunter, which comes with the perk Light Shift, which essentially states after using your class ability, your arc weapons will deal increased damage damage, essentially 10%. But on top of that, if the target is frozen or slowed, that will be even more damage added on top of that. Needless to say, Anarchy is disgusting, especially paired with Bacchus, and so is Salvager here, which also does arc damage. Again, like I said, there's a lot of people that were upset that Salvager wasn't a kinetic weapon. But when you think about it, Bacchus, just in its base form, without taking advantage of slowing or freezing targets, that 10% buff completely makes up for that difference in damage from being an energy versus a kinetic. And once you get rolling with chain reaction, it's hard going back, man. This is a very addicting combination. Now, some other things we're taking advantage of is actually one, the new artifact mod, Resonance Siphon. Gain Stasis ability energy whenever you or a member of your fire team stuns a champion. This is really nice in all activities, but especially Nightfall ordeals, as well as the new activity battlegrounds. Now, as far as the Revenant subclass itself, dust fill grenades, always a fantastic option, especially when we combine it here with the Winter Shroud Stasis aspect, as well as the new aspect, Grim Harvest. Defeating slowed or frozen combatants creates stasis shards. These shards grant melee energy when picked up by you or your allies. On top of that, we are taking advantage of the new stasis fragment, Whisper of Torment. You gain grenade energy each time
time, you take damage from combatants. This allows me to essentially always have my dust field grenade on hand. And to boost our dust field, we're also rocking the Whisper of Durance, which increases that slow ability to last even longer, as well as Whisper of Hedrots for that nice buff there in damage. This really works well, especially against champions. There's a lot of times that champions, as they are getting frozen, even if it's not stunning them, it's still messing them up. It's keeping barrier champions from throwing up their barriers. Throw a dust field grenade on them, dish out some anarchy shots on them, dodge for that increase in damage for your arc based weapons, swap to salvager if you need to. And while all of this is going on, that champion is getting frozen over and over again, and you're just going crazy on them with arc based weapons and this backers combination. This is a very disgusting build, guys. And even though I am a Titan main at heart, this build inside of PvE has become my most reliable subclass. It's just that good. Now, considering we are taking advantage of head drones for that increase in weapon bonus damage, it does not stack with high energy fire, which is why everything in our mod slot is purely gauged at just keeping us alive. I've got blast radius on, which states that becoming charged with light by rapidly defeating multiple combatants with grenade launchers or rocket launchers, a very easy task here for salvager. On top of that, powerful friends and radiant light, which does really well, especially with teammates, supercharge so that we can hold additional charges of light. And I highly, highly suggest guys to rock a grenade launcher loader mod as this will really help you with salvager there. And of course, a protective light mod. I know there's other mods out there that you can use and take advantage of. And if you want to rock high energy fire, that's completely up to you. Again, survivability here is what I'm looking for. And I'm letting my subclass, my fragments and aspects, as well as the backers arc weapon combinations to pretty much do all my heavy lifting when it comes to doing damage. So hands down guys, this has become my favorite build and might even be my main build for this season. I've done a lot of different builds. I enjoy Warmind based builds. Tiku's Divination with Warmind Cells, disgusting. OG Mountaintop with Recluse, one of the best builds inside of PvE ever. But after experiencing and playing with Salvager and Extraordinary in combination with Anarchy, as well as Bacchus, this has become by far my favorite build for PvE. Now I do believe that this combination could easily work with other subclasses. Backers is just really, really nice. But there's no reason why Salvager Salvo and a nicely rolled Extraordinary Rendition can't work on other subclasses. As a final note in regards to Salvager, does Dragonfly spec work with Chain Reaction or not? I personally have been using Dragonfly spec on Salvager. And Dragonfly spec essentially, guys, increases the radius and damage of Dragonfly. Now, I know Dragonfly is not on Salvager, so it makes you think that, well, shouldn't it not work here with Salvager? That should be the case, right? But this is known as getting bungeed. Like, I don't know the coding in the game, but essentially what I have been told is the game looks at chain reaction and its explosion effect similar to Dragonfly. And that Dragonfly spec, which gives a 51% increase in damage as well as explosion radius to Dragonfly also applies to chain reaction. Now, is this worth using over major spec or maybe even minor spec? In my opinion, if this is the case, absolutely. Again, you're not using this weapon as this single damage powerhouse. You're using it purely for its clearing capabilities. And I have spent some time with Salvager, both with Dragonfly spec and without. And in my experience, I felt that Dragonfly spec was worth Working. And again, there's so much variability in this because depending how far away the targets are to each other, you'll get differences in damage numbers. But just eyeballing it, I felt that Dragonfly spec was working. What I'm probably going to actually end up doing is collecting people, bringing them inside of Crucible, getting Darcy out, and placing people like three, four, five, six meters apart, and just test chain reaction kills and seeing to what extent it's actually benefiting from Dragonfly spec. But just word on the street and around Destiny's community, it is widely been accepted that Dragonfly spec has and is working with Chain Reaction here on Salvager Salvo. But try it out for yourselves, guys. Overall, this does not change the fact that this build is disgusting. I've missed rocking an SMG in combination with a grenade launcher, and by God, is it fun to experience both of these weapons in different slots. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching, and as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.